Hello and welcome back to the Innsmouth case. Okay, your journey begins at a busy bus station. There's supposed to be a bus line that departs from here to Innsmouth. Buses, you think to yourself, are not only an environmentally friendly means of transportation, but also easy on your wallet. Sadly, the departure boards aren't of much help. New York, Maine, Rhode Island, no trace of Innsmouth as a destination. You wander around for a while until you notice a cleaner, eating a sandwich on the side of one of the vending machines. Right, so let's move it on. You look around. Let's talk to the cleaner. Excuse me, we're going to find a bus to Inns. But letting go of his sandwich, the cleaner points to an abandoned counter in the dingiest corner that a public bus station could be capable of. The man gives you a nod indicating that anything that can be said has indeed been said. You find that the counter is elaborately decorated with cobwebs. It's a hit. It's a bit early for Halloween preparations, but at least someone's made an effort. At the moment, nobody seems to be there. You press your face against the plastic window to peer into the room behind. Hello? Hello, is anyone there? Have to go to Innsmouth. No one, no one there. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a bus ticket appears on the counter. Might the trip be free? It's a bit weird. Should you leave a payment? Let's leave a donation. You're a staunch defender of the law. It goes without saying that you pay. You put a few coins in the bowl underneath the foggy glass window. Hopefully that won't be stolen by the next passenger. Even if someone were sitting behind the counter, you wouldn't be able to see him. It's just too dark. You're distracted for a few seconds and suddenly there's some change on the counter. What's that in amongst the coins? A small golden fishing hook. How strange. Where is this bus hiding? In between the polished greyhounds and travellers stowing their luggage, saying goodbye and dropping tiredly into their seats, there's a kind of dumpster. A dumpster with windows and wheels. No, it's actually a bus. It's a bit on the rusty side and even from a distance you sense the strange smell it emits. Is that sulphur? You're not convinced how this thing is supposed to drive. In its vicinity, everything is noticeably quieter than at the other bus stops. The people getting on show no sign of emotion. Nobody's trying to jump the queue here. Instead, the passengers move past the bus driver at a uniform speed, one after the other shuffling up the creaking steps. Each two-seater bench is occupied by individuals as if they want to make sure not to come into contact with their fellow passengers. The sign clearly says Innsmouth. No departure times, no stopovers, just Innsmouth. Okay, well we're on the bus. Undecided, you're standing on the stairs of the bus. Let's show our ticket. You hand the driver the ticket. No reaction. At least you can't make out a reaction. The lighting is poor and the shadows of this dusty of his dusty driver's cap cover almost his entire face. You know, there's something strange on his neck, but you can't quite make out what it might be. You're standing in the door waiting for an okay, an odd, anything. The sulfur order has increased. A queue has formed behind you, but no one is pushing or complaining. I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. Detectiving is thirsty work. Right, let's keep going. The people wait quietly and patiently. Okay, let's uh, just keep walking. You shuffle sideways through the center aisle. You don't remember the bus looking this long from the outside. You are surrounded by shabby two-seater benches, and some are already occupied. One traveler per row. The last bench is free. Looks like the upholstery is torn in some places though. Or has it been slit open? You see some springs with a sharp wire, with sharp wire edges and some st sticky liquid seems to have leaked onto the floor. Why don't you just sit down in one of the free rows? Here in the back almost everything is occupied. Most of the passengers seem to have personally sat down in the aisle seats, blocking off the window seats. Maybe this is an opportunity to get a little closer. The common is an intimate visitor. 
He gazes across the rows of seats. Um, I think we're gonna sit down with someone. They might not like it, but we'll do it. As a nonconformist, he joined one of the passengers in the double seat. Since only one man was so considerate as to sit at the window, your options are limited anyway. As far as you can tell, the man is, ha is a haggard figure with barely any luggage. The hood of the grey jumper pulled far onto his face. The man looks out onto the street as if something very important is happening there that requires his attention. Is this seat taken? You ask politely. He turns his head and gives you a brief once over. Without saying a word, he turns away again. Now let's sit down beside him. Alright, that wasn't a no either. You sit down and regret it instantly. The smell of sulfur is now overpowered by something else. Something that smells like it's been in the sun for too long. You're trying to catch a glimpse of what's under that hoodie. Does this person have genetic defect? Is he mal malnourished? You're not sure exactly what the problem might be, but you're trying to stay professional. You awkwardly stare at the headrest of the person in front of you. Um, let's have, let's try and talk to him. This is a chance to get some inside information. Do small talk about veganism. Uh, look at the question over. Play the tour. Yeah, let's play the tourist. You clear your throat before you speak, twitching and with a slight tremor, the man turns to you. Excuse me, I'm visiting Innsmouth for the first time. Do you happen to come from there? A twitch is all you get. Maybe you should get right to the point. It's hard to tell if you're boring him. Ask for a few tourism tips. Doesn't Innsmouth have any sights? Your neighbour stares into the middle distance. Is he thinking? The silence between the two of you is hardly bearable. The... The... The bench. He finally stutters. Your eyes meet again. The old town, he adds. Well, that could have gone worse. The small talk has been gruelingly slow. So you decide to let it go. This ride is taking forever. The bus leaves the country road and turns off at a wooden sign that says Innsmouth in red flaky letters. The journey continues rather bumpily along a narrow dirt, dirt road littered with numerous potholes. In the distance some houses are already visible, seagulls circling the roofs of the outermost edge of the city. Slowly all passengers take their bags out from under the seats and get ready. Curiously, he looked through the side window. That's odd. The bus passed by a huge... What is this? A scrapyard? Parking lot? Why would something like this be right outside the city? You pass another wooden sign whose half-peeled writing advertises the Innsmouth Park and Ride Area. Other cars look like they've been sitting here for years. Sand covers some of the bonnets and windscreens. Okay, not good. Time for some more tea, though. The front door of the bus opens with a squeak, and he joined the mountainous line of locals, stepping out of the bus as if in a daze, almost walking in step. You all get closer to the exit. As you walk down the steps, you have to protect your eyes from the sunlight. Turns out the windows of the bus were tinted. The other passengers shuffle off. Okay. And that's where we're going to end that one. Okay, so hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are keeping safe out there. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button there on the right. Or checking out some other videos here on the left. Or perhaps you might even share with some friends.